one of the most appealing aspects of my exercises is that most every little workout starts like this, and you can maintain this position for a long time. It's it's uh, not necessary, but it's 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 good for you. It's good for your back anyway. But I start this way, and uh, I spend a little time straightening my hips. Yes, my hips, because um, I don't have any back problems really. Um, I mean, you know, I can do little things here and there to make it fatigue. Uh, but quite frankly, uh, I used to have very bad back problems. They're all gone. I fixed up myself, and I. I'll show you uh, how I did that, but this is how it starts. Triceps. Okay, you're warming up, stretch the band out, warm them up this way. It's not too difficult, a little bit of resistance. Want to make it more difficult? Roll your hand. It's a little more difficult. Roll your hand. A little more difficult. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Now, watch this. And keep going. One more difficult. Oh, that's so cool. See? See? Oh, it's too early for that. All right. Next thing. Ooh, see? Just sort of make sure you're working both the same way. But you can, if you got a weaker left side. Dude, that's another thing. The balance that my muscles go. I went into the gym and I did some bench pressing. And I had a left side. I had a, I had an injured pec. I used to try to pay, be a power lifter. But I tore like a pec bicep thing going on here. And then I've rehabbed it with this. But my left side got super weak. Uh, but using these, I went in there and I was still concerned about the left side. I was so balanced. It was like I couldn't get unbalanced. And it's from doing these. You know what I mean? My balance was just like so perfect. I've never been like that. And that's what leads to injuries. So you can incorporate these into your weight lifting, bench pressing, whatever. And they're just a benefit, man. Every person on earth should have a pair of these to take care of themselves. I'm not kidding you. And I'm not promoting anything. All right. This also tricep. Lats. I, dude, my lats have grown. Uh, I do a lot of pull-ups too, and I want to show you about that too, about push-ups and pull-ups and stuff. Kind of forget about numbers. Um, the numbers are just going to either discourage you or they play mental games with you. So I don't do that. So for, for example, instead of getting on a bar or getting down and doing as many push-ups as I can do, um, I will count up or something like in my pull-ups. I can do like, I've done 17 pull-ups by myself. People say, oh, I've got real pull-ups, you know, a few. Uh, but I'm, um, I'm, I couldn't have even faked 17 pull-ups when I started this. So, but what I'll do is I'll do five at a time. And so, when I was doing 20 in my whole workout, you know, now I'm doing like 60. And I just do five at a time. And... Uh, and then when I get to the point where I'm actually really tired, uh, I'll often do myself by holding positions. So, and then uh, with the push-ups, uh, you can do one push-up and get a good exercise, a good workout out of it. You go as slow as you possibly can. Try it. Try it. And then see how many you can do over time. But you're trying to go as slow as possible. Uh, and then I, I don't count up on push-ups. I just count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That way you're always just going to five. And then you count how many fives you did. Uh, and that had, had a huge effect. My numbers went up. Um, but the more I think about it now, the more it starts to uh, weigh differently. But it's just another one of those things that I do that works quite well.